Uh, I've been like after the loss on the weekend. Yeah, yeah. Obviously, they're disappointed with the loss, uh, but we need to get back on the horse and get going. So they've trained well last night. I'm um, got a captain's run tomorrow and then head down to Sydney. How did you and the team reflect reflect on the game? Yeah, a little, little bit more honesty uh, around that fact. But um, when you look at it, though, one one try in it. Well, we scored more tries. They scored less than us. But so one try each side of uh, in each half. So defence wise. We can't complain, it's just some stuff in attack we need to fix up, but um, that's what we've been doing this week as well, so hopefully that transpires into the game. All your results have been um, you know, tight games. What are you identifying in terms of what you can improve on? Definitely our ball security. We're in double figures for the last two weeks, in the, especially in the second half, so it's not a fitness thing, it's more of a concentration thing on individuals when they're carrying the ball, passing the ball, um, and just understanding to stay in the grind. So teams are starting to grind even more with us now, so you're just can't, not going to blow them away. It's just basically you need to get your hands dirty, roll your sleeves up and get into it. Obviously you'll be without Jesse Southwell. What type of loss is she for the team? Uh, yes, she's a big loss, obviously being uh, number seven, but Evie's done the whole pre-season. She's trained really well last night. They, they were really clear on how they want to play against the Eels this week, so she trained really well. Georgia trained really well. I'm looking forward to actually seeing play. Just in terms of Evie, I think she's the second debutant uh, yep. this season. What gives you confidence that these um, young players are ready for the NRLW? Well, firstly, they've gone through the pathway first and foremost, so that's, that's part of the reason. And then um, they've done all their reps. So one thing we do at this club is we, they get a lot of reps. Whether they're player 18 to 24 or 1 to 17, they get plenty of reps of um, in and out when it comes to edge v edge, defensive start movements, all that sort of thing. So she's done all the volume, so she's, she's ready to go. Um, yesterday, Nita Maynard mentioned that obviously the loss of Jesse is big, but um, having um, Evie Jones hot on her heels is a good thing for Jesse when she does come back, that she's got to push that bit more knowing that she's got another young half. Absolutely. They, they were pretty honest when, they walk, when I walked into the building, first and foremost, around being challenged. So they're going to get this challenge off the field now with competition for places, and then obviously they're getting challenges on the field with um, back-to-back losses. But, um, yeah. I'm really excited to see Evie play with Georgia. Um, we've tried to release the shackles a little bit on that front as well. Um, and then, yeah, if they win, it could be the same team going forward next week. Obviously, Jesse also does your goal kicking. Who's going to step up? Yeah, Georgia will kick for us this week. Obviously, um, Sheridan isn't quite fit, fit this week, so she won't play. Um, it was a chance that she might play, but in the end, if, if we risk it for one week for four weeks being out again, so it's, um, yeah, we'll just go back to the drawing board next week and see if she's fit, if she's fit, if she's not, we'll just, we've got, we've got depth, basically. It's um, Lily and Tanika will be on the wing, so um, they'll do the job. Obviously coming into this season, there was a lot of talk about whether the, the club can get a third straight premiership. Is that pressure, you know, playing on the girls' minds or as they're knowing that, or knowing that they're back to back premiers, does it, you know, make them a bit more lax? Is there? I think it uh, might be a bit of both. There could be some, a little bit of complacency there. That's one thing I did um, notice or notify basically when I walked into the place. If, when you go back to back, there can be complacency. When it, when it comes to their training, I can't fault them on that front. So where they get on the field and there was a little bit of that, but the defensive stuff that we were look, seeing week in, week out, I don't think there is. It's just they're lacking a little bit of polish around their attack um, and then basically their ball security has cost us the last two weeks so um, if there is any complacency we'll it's our roles as uh, staff to keep them honest and sort of knock that out of them so um, we'll see how, how we go after Parramatta. Obviously you've got plenty of experience in the team with Jesse not in there obviously you've got Tamika and uh, at the back there but do you think um, Evie, while even though she's young, she will still have that confidence to, to be talking heavily um, in that line that she will take control? Absolutely. So we we basically had our preview last night. She knows we trust her. I trust her as a, as a head coach. That's why she's been put in the seven jersey. So George will be our main half, but Evie understands her role. She's got some clear clarity on what, what's her objectives for the weekend and Georgia will step up and play her part as well. And what are you expecting out of Parramatta? Yep, they don't beat themselves. So we talked about that last night. They are the best at completion rate, controlling the ball, putting it in the corner. Um, yeah, we just got to go there and play our own game. That's an old cliche, but if we go there and play to our best of our ability, we'll, I think we'll be okay.
quite the matchup for young Evie as well against the New South Wales number seven. Yep. So well, Evie's obviously she's trusted because she's played two years of Origin at under 19s level. Um, that's a really good stepping stone develop part for him. So. And then play against Rachel Pearson, absolutely. So, um, yeah, I'd love to see Evie bring her running game. Um, she knows she's a kicking option as well next to Georgia. So just clear communication, back herself, um, keep it simple. Just with the goal kicking, was there was there a shootout? Was there a clear option? Like... No, nah, it's more... So we've got some pretty good goal kickers. Obviously, we've got Jesse, Sheridan. Sheridan wants it for full time, so I know that for, for, for a fact. So there's like that internal battle, and then you've got um, Izzy Waterman, who's playing Harvey's this week. She's a she's a good kicker as well. So, but Georgia can kick as well. So, um, yeah, that was the last thing probably on our minds a little bit. I know you got to take a goal kicker in the game, which is what we what we're going with, with why we're going with Georgia. So, but um, yeah, if we focus on the other points first and foremost, then the goal kicking will look after itself. Obviously, as you said, um, Evie Jones has played under 19s for the last couple of years, but do you think it's there's some advantage for you that she is still that unknown, that she can come into this game and potentially surprise the Eels because they don't know a lot yeah, of Yeah, I'm sure Georgie, so I've worked with Georgie up at North Queensland, so he's pretty thorough in what he does with his, with his group and that sort of thing. So, yeah, there is an element of the unknown, but um, at the end of the day, there's certain players out in the field, they just got to play their role. But Evie's job is very clear. Um, she, there's no pressure on her, to be honest. It's a free shot at the stumps. So just go out and enjoy it more than anything.